Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2 and today I'll be making a quick card using this W plus 9 Many Thanks stamp set. So this is a stamp set from Simon Says Stamp uh, which was uh, designed by W plus 9 so it's an exclusive set so you can only buy this from Simon Says Stamp and I really wanted this. I've seen some beautiful um, work with this stamp set and this stamp set is one of those layering type of a stamp set so i'll be using the simon says stamp ink pads as well and i have the entire collection uh besides the uh, newer ones that they just released but i've never actually used their ink pad the only ink pad that i used uh was black and so i'm kind of um curious uh, to see how they actually stamp out because I've never done a color chart on them so I'm kind of um, choosing a light color and a dark color because since this is a layering type of a stamp I just chose out two colors one light and one dark so I have this rectangle piece that I cut out using the Mama Elephant's Fem Frame die. So as you can see, uh, some of the colors that I chose out. And um, I'm going to just randomly just stamp this uh, solid, kind of like a solid um, image. And I'm kind of making like a triangle. And I noticed that even though this is kind of like the... Uh, layering stamp it doesn't need to necessarily be i don't think you can line it up perfectly i'm not sure but even if you don't i think it still looked pretty that's uh my opinion but uh these uh clear stamps are high quality photopolymer stamps so the stamps will stain and sometimes the um, ink will kind of seep into the uh, stamp. So if you're using multiple colors like I am now, it's best to uh, clean it off really well. So for that, I'm using the absorber and it cleans it really well. So again here I'm just randomly stamping this is a uh, two different type of a flower that I chose and uh, their inks Simon says stamps inks are kind of like the hero arts ink when you first stamp it it looks kind of blotchy but then as it absorbs into the paper it uh, evens out so now I grabbed uh, the solid lines and I'll be using the darker color and just stamping it. So as you can see that it doesn't necessarily have to be matched up perfectly. So there is the absorber. And uh, these do stain the stamps. I think I already mentioned that, but it's okay. I love the fact that you can mix and match. So here is um, the darker blue. I believe this is the Audrey blue. Again, I'm trying to um, kind of match it up uh, best as I can. And I have some missing gaps here and there which I'm going to be kind of filling it in with this color. So I bought the uh, entire set of their ink pads for Christmas. And then since then, this is uh, July, but I have never used their ink pads. But as you can see, the colors are very pretty. I really like the colors. It's really bright and uh, cheerful looking. So now um, I grabbed the leaves. 
and I'm randomly just stamping it here and there, not too much. I don't want to overcrowd uh, this piece. And then I'm going to stamp it again with the more of the detail part of the leaf. So I really had fun and you can um, mass produce this. I think it will be really fun card set. It looks kind of like summery spring looking. So the set, stamp set also has um, a little dot for the centers of the flowers if you wanted to uh, color the centers of the flower and I'm using this coral color and I'm going to stamp it in the centers of all the flower. So I think that kind of brings it all together. Then I, um, I'm going to stamp out the sentiment which says many thanks. Sorry, I have, um, I brought it closer to me because I wanted to line it up. So it says many things. I love that handwriting. So uh, I really like this set. I think you can do a lot of different uh, techniques with it. So I have this black piece of cardstock that I cut and I'm just attaching uh, both pieces using the ATG. So this is kind of like a one layer because there's no dimension. So I think it turned out really nice. So I thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll leave all the supplies that I use for this card in the links below and um, thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.